All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing the HK MP5 chambered in 22 long rifle. This is sold in two different versions. There's the pistol version and this one, this one is the rifle version. So one thing I'll note is that these are manufactured in Germany by a company named Umarex under license from HK. So there's gonna be a lot of things that are very similar to your standard nine mil MP5. So over here is gonna be your one 25 round MP5 22 long rifle magazine. It's gonna have these pull tabs on the side right here. That's going to aid in the loading of these magazines. Over here on this side, you're gonna get your manual. And this manual covers both the pistol and the rifle since they're very similar in function. You got black and white photos, red warning text, and good explanations on everything to include adjusting it for standard ammunition and high velocity ammunition. Inside the bag, you're gonna get a red lock, non HK branded. You also get a couple of tools for adjusting the sights, as well as disassembly, and then an Allen key right there. Let me get the box out of the way and then we'll start going over the features of the MP5 itself. All right, got the box out of the way. As always, we're gonna start off with some close-up shots of the rifle itself. So you can kind of get a feel for how everything kind of looks, the construction and whatnot. The first thing I noticed uh, upon taking this out of the box is just uh, the weight of it. It's actually pretty heavy. It comes in at around seven pounds, uh, which kind of makes you feel like it's more closer to your standard MP5 weight and feel. So whether you're using this as a training aid to your standard MP5, the same on ammo or teaching somebody, uh, I do think this would be a great addition to anybody's collection. So we'll start off first with the barrel. And obviously the rifle version is very reminiscent of the MP5 SD with this handguard and this faux suppressor out front. So the barrel here is gonna be 16.1 inches, non-threaded and it is chrome lined. You can see in the center right there. And this is a faux suppressor, like I said before, but it is metal in construction and features a very nice textured black finish. The handguard is going to be kind of a rubber material, uh, very grippy, and again, very similar to the MP5 SD's handguard. Going off with the receiver. So the upper receiver is gonna be constructed of metal and the upper receiver consists of the magazine well down here, all the way up top, and going all the way to the front sight. So like I said, it's constructed of metal, and it features a, another texturized black finish, very similar to the finish on the faux suppressor. You're going to have a sling attachment point towards the front, and then another one in the rear on the stock attachment. Your sights... One thing uh, a lot of people did like about the pistol and rifle versions of this was HK's inclusion of genuine uh, diopter HK sights. So these are adjustable. You're gonna have four different sizes of peepholes, like this, and a very large one right there. So it's adjustable both left and right for windage and elevation. And your front one is going to be that standard hooded front sight post that you see on all your MP5s. The upper receiver is also featuring the HK claw mount system, uh, but some people did note that the claw mounts on the 22 long rifle version, the dimensions are slightly larger. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, attaching other claw mounting systems for picketing rails and whatnot, uh, just that the dimensions may be slightly larger than the standard MP5. The stock in the rear is just like other MP5s, it's going to be adjustable with this lever right here. You're going to push it up and pull it out to the rear. And it only has two positions. You have completely retracted or fully open like that. And the rails on this are also metal and feature the same texturized finish like you saw everywhere else. 
So the lower receiver is going to be constructed of polymer. And like other MP5s, the grip, trigger guard, and lower receiver all one unit. And this is obviously not uh, swappable with other MP5 lower receivers. Your safety selector markings are going to be color filled, both on the left and the right side. And the safety selector is ambi, as you can see there, both on the left and the right. And those are the same size as far as width goes. The trigger here is going to be a single stage trigger and it's six and a half to 8.4 pounds. Charging handle is exactly the same as any other MP5. A little bit less weight to pull, but you can cock it right there. And HK does say that you definitely can slap this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a slap like that. So like I said in the beginning when I was talking about the tools and the manual is that the bolt is adjustable for high velocity or standard velocity 22 long rifle ammunition and it's also going to feature the two different magazine releases that come standard on your mp5 the paddle style down here and then the normal button style right there i'll go ahead and show you how that looks in the gun there there's the magazine and you can use either one you want like that and again on the stock the stock portion is constructed of polymer and it features a textured uh, checkered pattern on the rear of it. All right, so that's pretty much it for the HK MP5 rifle and 22 long rifle. If you guys have any questions on this, uh, just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. Thank you all for watching.